As COVID hospitalizations are surging around the country, healthcare workers are feeling even more physical and emotional stress. Yet another surge has them working longer hours and exposing themselves to the virus as they do that. And they also, of course, face the emotional uh, toll of the loss of patients. This morning, we're live with Matt Robinson from Methodist University Hospital, who's worked in the COVID unit the entire time. Matt, how are you? Um, how are you and your coworkers coping with this new surge? A lot of us are very tired. We've been through this for going on, this is the 18th month now, and we thought that we had a break back in June when we decided to close things down and then now to be thrust back into it at a very different mental state than we had at the very beginning of this. It's, it's been difficult on all of us. So, Matt, if you would give us that firsthand perspective, if you would, I mean, what has it been like for you and other healthcare workers to actually witness, you know, this devastation on a daily basis? So it's been very, it's very difficult from the beginning. Um, back in March of last year, there was a lot of unknowns about this, and we were, we were a team. Everyone in the community had, we were all supporting each other. Through this and as things continued um it kind of went out of the limelight and it wasn't as front page news and back in june when we closed the unit down there was a big relief for all the people that are on the front lines because we thought that we had conquered something that we had overcome something as a community and then very quickly within the last couple of weeks the case is doubling and having to open the unit back and now the surge is worse than it's ever been and it's, it's very difficult for the people that have been there, that have been right at my side this entire time, to see it firsthand and to see the effect that it's having on families, even younger families that we did not see during this first wave. Do you, what would you say to people who call you heroes and say they pray for your health and your emotional sustenance, but yet, protest things like wearing a mask, which may or may not help. We all know that people can have different opinions about that, but if it doesn't harm them, I mean, do you have anything to say to folks? Is that frustrating to you? It's very frustrating because I know that I get a very skewed view of what this virus is because we see the worst of the worst cases here in the hospital, especially in the ICUs. But I think it's very important for people to stay informed. And what is more important is where they get that information from. And because there's a lot of misinformation kind of floating around, especially on social media, it's very important to figure out where that's coming from and make your, incision, make your decisions from an informed basis. And from a frontline healthcare worker and to see this and to see the effect is, I could try to explain it to you and it's something that unless you see it firsthand, it's hard to grasp, but trust what we're saying, trust what science is saying, and from the people that see this every day, this is worse than we have ever seen. This variant is hitting people at younger ages that do not have the comorbidities that it had the first time around. Mm. It's just, it's very difficult, and I want people to make an informed decision based off of scientific research. And Matt, you not only have seen it firsthand, you've actually lived through it, uh, contracting COVID-19 yourself, did you not? What do you want people to know about how deadly, how dangerous this virus and this Delta variant can be? So I got to see COVID firsthand in hundreds and thousands of cases here in the past 16, 18 months. And when I contracted it back in November, I thought that I knew that I was gonna get kind of sick. I'm young, I'm healthy. And it was the worst illness that I've ever had. Fever for eight straight days, regardless what I took. I didn't feel like eating or drinking. And that's somebody being healthy. And now that this Delta variant's coming around, it's hitting younger people. Our average age has dropped from 61, even up into the, now that we're in the upper 40s. And seeing younger people come through the door, we're, it's just affecting people faster than it ever has. And my concern is that with the number of unvaccinated people currently out there, that this number is going to keep rising. And seeing it affect younger people that do not have the health issues that they had the first time around, I'm concerned.
And are you and your coworkers personally worried about your own safety because Delta is twice as contagious, we're under, we understand? Well, we do. We're making sure that we're advocating and encouraging everyone that we know, family members and stuff to get their vaccines. And now with Methodist introducing the vaccine mandate, it's the most responsible step to help slow this thing down. And we do have concerns. Luckily, we're in a lot better state now in terms of our PPE, keeping like our N95 mask and having our frontline workers have all that protection. So we do feel a lot safer and we do have a little bit better understanding, but we are very cautious in what we do outside of work, making sure that we'd still institute those like wearing a mask out in public just because it is so contagious. Yeah. So Matt, the bottom line very quickly here, mask up, get vaccinated. What do you want to say? Get vaccinated and understand that when you do your research, it's coming from a credible source. All right. All right Thank Matt. you so much. Thank you for sharing thank your you. story with us. We do appreciate it, and hopefully it will reach somebody. And thank you for your work. All right.